peace and welcome back to my channel it's me shine Sivaria. just wanted to speak on this um clip this video that has been going viral and things are still coming out about the chicago teenager 14 year uh, 14 year old teenager that protected his mom and ended up killing someone who was assaulting her so i'm like if you clicked on this video you probably have seen the video probably on Facebook or Twitter. Um, and I just like have so many thoughts about it. You know, like it's really unfortunate for both of them. And I will say that I don't see them getting out of jail no time soon. And I'll get to that in a minute. But um, my, it, <laughs> I have really strong feelings against the mother, but I will start from like who I feel was at fault the most was this black man, Not I can even call him a man, this adult child that she was arguing with. Like, I don't care what the argument was about. You had no right to like punch this woman three times in her face. Like, you're grown. I wanna say, they said he's 32. You're good and grown. You're good and grown. But you clearly ain't had ish to lose because what in your right mind would tell you it's okay to be arguing with a woman? Arguing with a woman and then assault her like that. Like, who does that? Like, that's so cowardly. I can't stand men that, like, abuse women, put your hands on a woman. We all, like, have self-control. We, you know, like... I mean, even on both ends, even even for her, like, I will say, I, I guess I'm different. I'm not arguing with no grown man. You know, I only, I ain't gonna say never argue with a grown man because clearly I've been in domestic violence situations. So, I mean, but there's men I'm living with, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't saying that justified, but that's the only time I'm arguing with a man. I'm not arguing with no, no stranger at Conway, well, they ain't Coney, but whatever hot dog place it was at in Chicago. I'm not doing it. And furthermore, the man that was inside of that uh, restaurant, y'all some bitches too. You know, like, I just, I don't understand how black men will watch another black man clearly be wrong. There's no reason you should be in this woman's face. There's, like, there's, we can't get some hot dogs. Like, it can't be that deep. It's never that deep never that deep y'all could have been like hey hey my man like you know pipe down chill out a little bit it ain't even it's not even that deep and it's not now he gone y'all could have stepped in and been like look chill chill on out like whatever y'all arguing about you ain't gonna care about an hour from now you ain't gonna care about once you didn't eat your food and you down the street you want to block whatever you sipping your your drink you smoking your trees or whatever you're not going to care about that so why can't it just come in here and be like, chill? Chill, I don't like men. My brother told me this a long time ago. A long, long time ago. And I, it is so true. He told me, society will tell you um, women are emotional. But men are way more emotional than women. And this is from a black man. Like straight up told me, men are way more emotional than women because all that in your face da, 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 like that make you feel like a, a big nigga like what is that you pop off and you get that upset that fast over something so small like me as a woman i'm i would be like if, i don't care what i said to you if you popped off on me or whatever like I'm probably never gonna see you again in my life. Like, why am I wasting my my energy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why? You're not about to give me a headache. You're not about to raise my blood pressure. You're uh, you're dusty. You're a bum. Like, why are you getting in my face arguing like this? Like, I would where I'm at in my life right now. I would have just called the police. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be like, um, you're you're tripping. You're tripping, my dude. Like, I. I'm not, I'm not arguing with someone that's clearly beneath me. Clearly. And I don't say that about a lot of people, but that type of dusty ass behavior, I'd have been like, you are completely beneath me because I could never. Why am I like outside? Of we wouldn't even be in the same space 
racist if I wasn't trying to get some food. Like, are you are you dumb? Like, no, I'm not arguing with you. But the men should have definitely intervened. Now, the mom, this is where I got smoked with the mother. Now, people are saying, oh, she touched her son. No, she did not touch her son. Her son was already in the restaurant. They walked in that restaurant together. He just kind of stayed in the doorway for whatever reason. So he's seeing this man pop off on his mom. And she told her son to go get in the car. So, okay, boom, I would have did the same thing because she knew he had, she had knew he had that gun on him. You know what I mean? So that's probably why she instantly was like, go to the car. And when, you know, the man like, go to the car or whatever, you know, I guess he instantly thought like, well, maybe she trying to boo, 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 whatever. Um, that's when he punches her in the face. Well, the grown little boy. I gotta stop calling him a man. That is so childish behavior. Um, he punches her three times. But so when she does, when he does that, the son is already there. Seeing it happen, he pulls out the gun, shoots him. And this is where it is. This is the finicky part. That's why I'm like, they about to go to jail, jail. I hope they, they not the son, not the son, but the mom. Now her actions didn't it, it didn't it didn't add up. You you first tell your son to go to the car, like you're trying to protect him, or you don't want him to see this man assault you or whatever. He goes, shoots this man. The man runs out of the restaurant. You didn't tell your son you better kill him. You tell him that multiple times. You better. Kill you gotta kill him. You gotta better off him. Your son then fires more shots in this man's back. You can't prove self-defense at that point. You know, like at first, like if someone, okay, if, if someone is assaulting your mom or whatever, you, you want to protect your mom, you try to defend your mom, you shoot you shoot this man. He left out, you chase this man down. That's the part that got everybody tripping that most people is missing because we so mad at this black man. And I, and I mean, may he, I can't even say rest in peace because there's, uh, that's okay. It's a whole, <laughs> a whole nother subject about that. But he started it. I'll say that. He could have, as a grown man, control yourself. You know what I mean? But nigga clearly had nothing to lose, but it's life. And that's what happened and it's unfortunate but come on now um so as a mom i'm just trying to figure out you try to protect him at first tell him to go to the car but then <laughs> you tell him to basically commit her basically you're you you're yelling out that at your child and then when that happens you telling him to go to the girlfriend and that part doesn't make sense either because then I would have instinctly went to, I need to protect my child. Oh my God, my child shot somebody. I would not have gave up with this bird over here. It's saying she got a funeral to plan. I wouldn't be thinking about her. Like that might sound harsh, but I would not be thinking about her. I would be thinking about my child. Bitch, bye. Like <laughs> I wouldn't like, he did so like, and tries to tell her son to get old girl. And then that's when the boy seemed like he had more sense to the damn mom. It was like, we got to skedaddle. We got to go. You know, like, there's just so much wrong. Like, I don't know what type of spirit was in that dwelling that day. But the confusion was real. Like, it's just, I do feel bad for the son. But I also feel like he has a greater chance of kind of getting off. First of all, he is a juvenile. You clearly see him being instructed by the mom. He, She didn't text him to come in. He was already in. He already had the gun on him, which was her gun, which doesn't make sense to me either. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I, I think the mommy in me is just so disgusted, you know, because I have young boys. I kind of saw a situation like this. And I don't want to speak too much about it, so I, I got to be careful what I say. Um, there was a situation where it was like a stepdad, right? I met, I met this man. I thought he was just like real sweet. Saw him with the kids. 
and I was just like, we were like on a field trip. I'll say that we were on a field trip when I met the when I met the dude. Next thing I know, I'm seeing that he's it on the news. I'm like, I thought I was tripping. I'm like, what am I just on a field trip with this man and his sons? Um, but it was kind of like a similar situation. He was the stepdad. So Mises woman, he's a stepdad. They have kids or whatever it is, whatever. I ain't gonna say too, too much, but he's a stepdad. And um, his girlfriend had a, what is, he was 15 years old, 15 year old kid. Stepdaddy comes into their life, right? Seems like a good dude. Everybody think he's super nice. I thought he was the sweetest thing. I was just like, our kids playing together? Like da 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 da. I thought he was cool. Um, but I don't, you know, of course, I don't know people's background. So basically what happened, he was beating up his girlfriend. The girlfriend has a 15 year old child, a boy. One day he beats up his mother, his girlfriend or whatever. The little boy saw it. He got tired. He got tired of this man beating on his mama. So... He saw him walking out the house one day and was like, I'm tired of you beating on my mama. He had a knife in his hand, stabbed him in the back. So now that man is gone. You know, but the little boy did go to jail because it was like, well, he wasn't a threat to you, wasn't self-defense. But it was just kind of like, you know, like you hitting on my mom. I don't know what to do. I'm a kid. Um, so I'm going to try to protect my mom. But I will say with that one, he, his mom wasn't even home when it happened. His mother was not home so it was something that I guess you know you see your mom being beat it on you think about that and I and I will say like in my last relationship I don't know if you said I'm gonna like post everything it's just so hard <laughs> it's it's so hard to relive that type of stuff but like even with my kids they didn't he didn't do it in front of them but it was like the house that I live in or whatever department townhouse whatever I live in is so small they heard it they heard it you know and then they just start hating him resenting him and it's just kind of like at some point that could happen you know what I mean they just like mad and mad and mad I left I mean he I, he would be alone with my kids a lot he would take my kids to doctor's appointments um back and forth to school back and forth to practices you know what I mean? Like, we were together somewhat of a family, but he would be beating me up every night. And then my, my especially my oldest son, he's like, all right, are you, you know, like he made a TikTok about it and I had happened to see it. And he was kind of basically saying he taught it, it's happening every night. But so I'm like, with my son, that stuff, I didn't know it was brewing. I didn't know he really heard all that. But yeah, so I had to protect my son and myself. I had to get the of that relationship like I don't know but let me know your stances on this I know I'm probably like all over the place you know but let me know how y'all feeling I'm gonna post a um a video of the sister um and her kind of explaining the family side and of course they need help or go fund me or whatever so i'm gonna post that if you guys want to go ahead and support the family as well let me know how you guys are feeling i know like this is kind of all over the place because it's got like strong feelings about this and i feel bad i feel bad for the mother and the little boy because it seemed like she was a good mom i'll say that from social media posts her son was brilliant like an amazing kid and it's just this is unfortunate but I also feel like this should start a conversation about again how unprotected black women are that I'm the only woman in this restaurant and I got another black man yelling in my face and this other black man in the restaurant letting him yell in my face for what for what you know what I mean like it's just we gotta do better we gotta do better that's that on that I was about to go on a whole nother little tangent um that's a whole that's another story for another day like 
stuff but yeah i ain't gonna get into that just yet but thanks for tuning in let me know how you guys are feeling please comment like and subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys on the next one peace just wanted to um, make a quick and brief video um, regarding my sister and my nephew. Um, just want to confirm that this is the only active page um, for immediate family right now. We are uh, continuously working to um, get them justice and get them out and get them home where they belong. We won't be harassed, bullied, or any of that. We're not going to have any of that. So um, we just thank you for the encouragement, the love, the support. And if anybody has any um, pictures, videos, um, anything that can that can just help, I will greatly appreciate it. You can inbox me.